Hello YouTube, today another video, and today I'm going to talk about update 12.3. It is only a small update because I've been really busy lately and I did not have time to work on Home Assistant, but I'm back and now um, update 12.3 for all of you. It's just a small update and I'm going to walk uh, you through it very quickly. Uh, the first thing that has changed is configuration.yaml. Uh, I've removed the configuration for location and all that stuff. Um, so now you can simply uh, add your uh, location uh, through the UI uh, from within here in the general config. Um, this is mostly uh, needed for new users, which will probably use the onboarding process and this will make sure that you can change it in the UI instead of hard coding it to, you, uh, to the configuration.yaml file. Um, you probably do not need to change anything at all. You can use the one you already have. It is just uh, for future reference. Another change is um, I've changed the climate view uh, to line instead of bar. Uh, you can do this by changing bar to line. Um, but again, this is a personal preference. You can choose whatever you like. Um, also, I've added a lot of uh, new sensors, new entities to my setup, which is all personal. I'm going to mention this because there are a lot of people that want to compare files. Um, they will all be different because I have switched to Decons or Decon Z or whatever it's called. And um, so I had to put in new entities for almost everything. Um, the good thing with it is uh, I have added uh, some automations. So that's the next change uh, for Decon Z or Decons uh, for IKEA thread free remotes. So now within the automations.yaml file, uh, completely at the bottom, you can find automations on how to uh, program your IKEA thread free remote, the one with the five buttons. So that's another change, which is really great. Um, another change is I have renamed uh, the decluttering templates once again. Uh, I've removed the uh, template uh, suffix um, because I got a tip from a GitHub user. Um, his name is in the description below. Um, it's Mr. Vizzy X, I believe. Um, just check on the description below because I will thank him properly there. Um, but he gave me a tip to use uh, an include uh, directory instead of including files, uh, which will um, eliminate the uh, decluttering templates.yaml file. Now, if you want a new template or you want to change a template or a file name, you just change that name and it will use the template in decluttering templates um, the same you will use the same name as the file name so in this case i have um i'm not sure if this is uh, if i can show you well it's not going to uh, it is going to load wait uh, so i'm going to show you um i hope i can show you uh, greatly how to sh if i can see let's see okay so um in ui lovelace.yaml i have changed the um directory as you can see right here in line 14 and 15. so you can see it's now just a folder and um the templates which are used right here are all still the same so you only need to rename those files that will be it so no big changes no crazy renames or all that stuff you just need to follow what is in my guide and it will be very easy to do that um, another thing is i changed the uh, the button template and i added a default uh, for the card background you can now change the card background for whatever you want uh, into any color you want and the color uh, the background color of the card is actually these white colors here or the, the darker one if you use the dark team but you can change those colors with a uh, variable right now 
and the reason I changed it is because there were some problems with the vacuum.yaml page. Well, not actually problems, but there were some inconsistencies with the teaming, and especially on this page. It looks fine if you use the white, um, the white skin, but if you use the dark skin, you'd see a dark button when it's activated, whilst now it is just like all the other buttons uh, when it's something activated like this it will show up in white instead of black so it's just a consistency uh, error and it has been fixed now so the vacuum.yaml page will now look exactly the same as any other other page um, that was the only thing i still missed in uh, the vacuum.yaml page another thing is I've added uh, a template icon to the um, battery template for the RoboRock. Um, you will not see this in this update yet. It's just a preparation for the next update because I have to change a lot of stuff for this. Um, but what it does is the icon, the battery icon, which you can see in the top left right now, is dynamic. So if the battery level drops, it will show you a, another icon, um, just like any other battery entity would. Uh, this wasn't possible before, it is possible now, and it will uh, show up in the next update. You will not see it in this card yet, you will have to wait for the next update, or you will have to change the templates yourself, but I suggest you wait for the update. Um, so, I forgot a point um, for the decluttering templates. The decluttering templates.yaml file will be removed in its entirety. So you no longer need it. You will no longer need to define uh, templates in that specific file as it will automatically take them from your file names. All right. So what else do we've got? Let me see. We have got the notifications pop up. Um, the notifications pop-up is um, a bit faulty, uh, which you can see right here. So at the top, I have three buttons which are white, and the text and the icon are white as well. This is because I have uh, defined an entity with a toggle option. Um, because I haven't done a great job with teaming, this is not possible without defining all the states uh, in um, the button template. So to fix this, it is pretty easy. You remove all the entities in your uh, notification popup.yaml file. You remove all the entities and use the default one I've already set up instead. So you don't need to put in any entity at all. And then instead of uh, using a toggle tap action or uh, a toggle hold action, you would do a, a service call. You can still toggle lights or toggle anything you want, but if you do a service call instead of a, a, a direct toggle, it will show up like these ones here on the bottom, which looks a bit better, I guess. Um, of course, if you don't have this problem, you don't need to do this. Um, I'm just telling you this now because I haven't had uh, much time for CSS yet and it will come in a future update, which will be in maybe a month or maybe two months. I'm not really sure. It really depends on the time I have. And so uh, this way you can at least uh, temporarily fix this problem. So, I think I've got everything uh, right here. Um, so, I hope you like this update. It's only a small update, but I thought, yeah, you know, I can keep you waiting forever, but I thought, let's just release this, even though it's just uh, very, very small. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to be notified for all new videos, you can click the bell icon. And if you like this video or dislike this video, you know exactly what to do. Um, I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for supporting me because really I have never thought that so many people would watch this channel. And 
in four weeks, I have got, uh, gotten over 10,000 uh, 10, views in only four weeks. And I never really expected this much of support from any of you because, well, um, I never thought of sharing anything at all. But thank you very much. So uh, thank you for supporting me. And um, as an added bonus, um, because I see that I've got a lot of subscribers already without really asking for them. But uh, because I've got uh, a lot of subscribers already, I will make this promise. If I reach 100 subscribers, I will show you, uh, I will give you a tour through my smart home. And uh, obviously, I will film my dog because, well, dogs are great animals, right? So if I reach 100 subscribers, I will show you my, uh, my home. And um, thank you for watching and see you next time.